What's up, everybody? It's Day Sun Civil of Civil Days Music, and at this time, this is kind of like my portable setup. I got my Lenovo Legion laptop, my Launch Key Mini, I've got my SP404, I've got my Machine Plus, which is now acting as a controller to machine because I'm using the machine software, and I have my handy dandy Zoom H5, and I'm recording on my cell phone right now. Of course, you know, I have the Wireless Rode Go mic, and that is what I'm actually recording out of right now. And with this track, I just want to go over certain parts and just show you what I'm doing right here. I want to start off with my drums. For my drums, not using that much drums, but the drums that, I'm, that I am using sound something like this. And that drum track actually sounds like this. Simple, very simple. Let's go to the next track. So I've soloed the next track. This track right here is Analog Lab, and I'm working in Analog Ra Lab 5 right here. I got the Arturia V8 collection. I purchased it through Splice. They give you a pay-as-you-go system, so I think it's very good, and you get a plethora of instruments. You know, people are like, oh, what you got there? You know, they'll be like, oh, pigments is good. Pig pigments is a very good, and pigments is actually in here. But what I'm using right now is the jazz bass. And so that's my jazz bass and we're going to rock with it right here and my jazz bass sounds like this and it sounds off but it brings so much it brings so much uh, character to the track you know my next instrument here is a Oberheim, and with this Oberheim, and you know, it kind of it sounds good. So I'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like. And I kind of got I'm using Fab Filter on it, and with my Fab Filter, I'm just kind of making sure that I I get it in a certain range so it's inside the mix and it's not taking over. I love the Scarby Rickenbacker bass. The effects I got on here, I have a maximizer. I have the Fab Filter EQ on there. I have a compressor on there. My bass sounds like this. Just playing around. My bass sounds like this. Very simple, nothing crazy. So for this next track, what I'm using here is an organ. All right, and this organ, I'm soloing right now. And as you can see, all right, so I'm not the best player, but you know, I, I, I do what I can to get what I need. And this organ sounds like this. This is a B3 version two organ. And by the way, I love making stuff a little more original, you know, um, I would like to make sample packs. So one of the things that I really want to do is make sure that I make original tracks because this was part of a MIDI kit that I was trying to put out so that people can really, you know, just get something different. All right. So right here we have three instances of contact. All right. I have a guitar rig on each one of those, and I have this Breath You Hold guitar rig instance on it, uh, this patch or preset, right? So it kind of makes your guitar sounds like this. But it's low, believe me, I got it really low. And then it comes out just like this. So then I come here to ROM, and that's why it has that chorus-like effect on it, because I'm just adding a lot of reverb to it right there. And if we listen to the entire track, the entire track sounds like this. Yeah. You know 
know you love it. Yeah. This is just me working in a portable setup. Not only is it a portable setup with a machine, you know that I love Ableton and other things like that as well. So what I want you to do is just take this time and like, comment, share, subscribe. I have more content on the way. If you have anything you kind of want me to dabble or tackle in, leave it in the comments. Comment, let's get this community popping. All right, everybody, let's go reach our goals in 2022. Also, I always tell y'all I'm a pastor. So make sure y'all go to Greater Awakening Ministries. Go to that page and we want to pull people back into Christ and we're going to do it through music as well. All right, everybody. Y'all be blessed. Y'all have a great one. All right. Peace.